Welcome to Foxtech. If you want to use Snapchat on your iPad, there are a couple of ways to do it and the process has improved over time. Let's go over the best way to get Snapchat working properly. First, open the App Store and search for Snapchat. After a long time of only supporting iPhones, Snapchat has finally optimized their app for iPads. So you should be able to download a version that fits the screen properly. In the past, the only option was to use the iPhone version stretched onto the iPad screen, but now the app works much better on iPads. Just tap install and wait for the download to finish. Once the app is installed, open Snapchat and log in with your credentials. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one right from the app. From there, everything works as expected. You can send snaps, chat with friends, browse stories, check out snap maps, and more. The app functions the same way as it does on an iPhone. So if you're already familiar with Snapchat, you'll feel right at home. One thing to keep in mind is that Snapchat only works in portrait mode on iPads, meaning you won't be able to rotate it into landscape view. If that's an issue for you, an alternative is to use Snapchat web instead. This allows you to use Snapchat in a browser, and depending on the settings, you may be able to view it in full screen mode on your iPad. I actually made a separate video covering Snapchat web, and you'll find the link in the description below if you want a step-by-step -step guide. Lastly, if you want to stay updated with notifications, go to settings, then notifications, and make sure that Snapchat is allowed to send alerts. This way, you won't miss any new messages or snaps from friends. That's it. Now you know how to use Snapchat on an iPad. If this helped, let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Foxtech for more iPhone and iPad tips. Thanks for watching and see you later.